Quantanium Ore is the new ship mining product in Star Citizen. But mining it comes with difficulty in both acquiring it and transporting it, and seems to be fairly rare in the verse. So is it worth mining? I'm going to show you some special things you need to mine Quantanium, where to find it, what it's worth, and let you decide. So first, where to find this ore? Obviously, we've come to the right men. It is rather rare, and I'll admit that even though I found several deposits of this rather valuable ore, sometimes I found it rather quickly, and other times I got completely skunked for a couple hours. In general, I found a lot more agrisium while searching for quantanium. Even though there is a chance to find it in some pretty high percentages, Overall, I found the 1-7% to range to be the most common. Now, I've heard the actual moon or planet locations that you're going to find Quantanium might be restricted. This could be just a rumor, or it could be something coming later in the game. And right now, it's going to be scattered around a lot more moons and planets. But for this last PTU patch, I found it for sure on Euterpe, however you pronounce that, and Clio, two of the new moons orbiting Microtech. I believe you'll be able to find this on Calliope as well. And to be honest, Calliope has one of the more interesting geologies and terrains of the three moons. I really felt as though I was truly on some alien distant world with the rugged terrain, a haze of atmosphere casting an almost spooky light across the jagged rocks. I just found it one of the more interesting locations and I also had some very good mineable ores. So next is how to mine this product. It's considerably more difficult than any of the other high value ores. It's a bit reminiscent of the Laranite of old, this was the old way, where the instability became so high as you broke down the rock, it became almost impossible and turned into unobtainium. It also had an extremely high resistance. So if you don't already have one and you're going out mining, Having a helix mining head to lower that resistance and increase the stability is almost a must or else you're going to be restricted to the very low mass ores that have a very low percentage of the quantanium. But it is doable with the default arbor mining head. I actually did acquire some with this head. I wanted to try it so I'd have a nice comparison on how difficult it was for the purpose of this video. What I also recommend is bringing some consumables along to equip and use while mining. Even with the helix, a rock with a high percentage of quantanium in it had an extremely high instability with a fracture window that was very narrow. I tried a couple different consumables available and the two I liked the most was the Optimum as my number one choice and the Rhyme, running a close second. The optimum immediately widens the window for fracturing. So once it got close to getting to the fracture range, hitting the optimum consumable opened that window and gave me a much wider comfort level to fracture the rock and to deal with the high instability. The rhyme was also good to have loaded and ready because if you did get into an overcharged state, the rhyme could very quickly pull down that energy level and help cool down that overcharge that you had created. Now you can just turn off your laser, but in the brief test I did with it, it felt like it brought the rock back under control and kept it from exploding much quicker than just killing the power. So I think it's a nice, in case of oops, this is a mistake, a terrible mistake, kind of consumable to have ready. There are other consumables you could try and play with, such as the Stampede, which seems to double the charge rate, which might be nice. You get the bar in the fracture zone, widen it with the optimum, then hit the Stampede to get it broken down as quickly as possible. But try out different ones. I'd be curious to know what your favorite might be and why. The optimum is the most expensive consumable at 3000 Alpha UEC, but it does have five charges. And if it does help you get that first initial fracture, then it's really a small investment at 600 Alpha UEC a pop. The Rhyme is one of the cheaper consumables at 1100 Alpha UEC, and it also has five charges, so that one definitely is worth having in your back pocket. Now, this is all with the Prospector, 
and assuming that you're mining solo. If you have a mole with multiple operators or multiple prospectors, then you've got a lot more choices. It can probably mix different kinds of mining heads like the Hofstede to help with the instability or other mining heads and probably don't have to use consumables at all. And really, with the current statistics, three helix heads on a mole all going at once probably gives you everything you need to safely mine this quantanium. So now that you have your quantanium comes one of the harder parts of this task. At least I think so. This ore has been advertised as becoming more and more unstable until you're able to sell it. And they weren't kidding. When you're mining um, and then let's say your ship gets jostled or, or uh, based off of the, what you mine, you know, there's a time associated with it. Um, it will basically become volatile. And so it can destroy your ship or, or you'd have to jettison it. It feels like you do have a good bit of time before it starts going off and giving you a warning that it's becoming unstable and that you have adequate time to finish breaking down and mining your rock, and maybe even a second one. But in actuality, you probably don't. No, I don't even know what I'm doing here. We're wasting our time. It's possible you could break down a second rock and still make it back to sell in time, but I ran a little bit short. And in one case, wound up having my prospector get damaged right in the hangar before I could make it to the trade terminal. So my advice is to break down the rock into all the pieces you want first. Even mine up some of the other product first. And try to extract the quantanium as one of your very last actions. You certainly, though, don't have time to go flying around and searching for another rock like you can with agrisium, laranite, or any of the other ores. Once you get the quantanium product, you better step on it. A little while after you first extract the quantanium, it seems to be about seven minutes, there's an initial warning light and beeping sound. It's very obvious and you can't miss it. And if you've waited until this first warning goes off before heading out to sell, you probably have waited a little too long. I didn't time it exactly, but you've only got about 10 minutes total which is really going quickly when you're trying to leave a moon, set quantum travel to an area, get landed, and all of that. The warning will go into a second, more rapid beeping, and at that point, you're really on the timer because you've only got about two to three minutes. Right now, it doesn't seem that being landed or having your ship's power turned off settles out this ore and keeps it from being volatile, but they could change that in the future. Lastly, you don't have to guess about when the explosion happens because the warning light and sound will go into a third and absolutely frantic flashing and beeping mode. At this point, it's jettison time. About 15 to 30 seconds is all you have, and that goes pretty quickly in a panic situation. I actually let it go until my ship exploded once because I wanted to see the full cycle and see how much time I had with that third warning. You might even get caught in the explosion trying to get out of the prospector's seat. Go to the outside door, extend the ladder to exit and all that. So maybe you could get clear once that third warning light goes off, but it would be close. So if you're still in the seat when that third warning light goes off, just jettison. It's really your only choice. I'm a little unsure what is a bug versus what is intended but it didn't seem to completely jettison all of my cargo, just the quantanium bit. But that's not 100%. I'd want to test that out a lot more, but that is what I seem to find, at least right now. So what's the reward with all of this risk and effort? I'm a little on the fence, but I was reasonably satisfied with the return. The quantanium I sold was worth slightly over 88 alpha UEC per unit. That's about double or more than what the other most valuable ores will give you. So even with a moderate percentage in the rock and an average size rock, it brought in a fairly nice profit. Now if I compare it with the other valuable ores, it probably falls a little short for me. It's hard to mine, it's high risk to transport, so I'm not sure that it's a product I would actively seek and go looking for. 
but it is one that's nice icing on the cake if I've already been out mining and want to grab a little quantanium as I head out. But again, I want to be on my way home. We're home. In order to make this work. There are a lot of other variables I wanted to test, like does the number of quantum jumps affect the ore instability? Does turning off and on the ship's power affect it? What happens when I log out of the bed? Things like that. I don't want to look for an exploit, but I would be curious to know what happens. The quantanium is a nice little change for 3.9, and even if it still needs some work and balancing, I thought it was a nice idea adding some more strategy and risk into mining, and it was an interesting one. In the case that we have quantanium, um, you know, that's supposed to be a, a volatile um, fuel, but again, it's risk reward. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. And if this ore becomes a critical element in supplying quantum fuel for the universe, then risky or not, the demand for it will be high and the rewards should escalate appropriately. I hope you liked this video and got some good information out of it. If you did like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe if you want. Use my referral code if you want to get into Star Citizen, and I'll be talking to you later.